I'm Zoe Delahunty Light, and I love Lethal Company, and I want you to love Lethal Company. So, to help you love Lethal Company, here are 21 advanced Lethal Company tips. No time for a proper intro, too much advice to give, let's go. Don't put the mask on. Just don't, please. You can't see what time it is when you're inside any of the moon's facilities, but the person in the ship, hereafter referred to as being at home, can. If you don't have anyone at home, which you should, but you do have a walkie-talkie, then you can actually use the walkie-talkie as a kind of clock. Its battery life lasts roughly 13 minutes, and a workday will last 11 minutes before the ship takes off. So, when the battery on the walkie-talkie gets to the last quarter, it's time to head back to the ship and get out of there. You want to be heading back to the ship ideally before about 4pm, as after 5pm the real dangerous outside creatures start to spawn, and good employees avoid them as much as possible. Don't sleep on the transmit command in the terminal, especially in the later stages of Lethal Company when you'll be facing more threats. Once you have the signal translator ship upgrade, using the transmit command you can send a nine character message to your teammate screens, useful if you need to get them to flee or silently warn them of a threat nearby. If you see a jack-in-the-box, run. If you see a girl skipping towards you, run. If a single teammate of yours says they see a girl, tell them to run. Get the hell off of that moon. You want to get in the habit of dropping any loot by the main entrance or outside of the main entrance, so no one dies with those valuable quota credits on them. Dropping loot outside of the door is generally safer, as it prevents loot bugs from stealing your stuff from under your nose while you're exploring. On the occasion that you hear something outside the ship when you're inside performing your terminal duties, crouch, turn off your walkie-talkie, turn off the lights in the ship, and be careful about closing the hydraulic doors. Though having something in between yourself and the fauna outside might sound like a good idea, the sound of the hydraulic doors can alert eyeless dogs to your location. Drop your loot on the floor of the ship to count it all in bulk, rather than putting it in the cupboard, which forces you to count the two locations by themselves. Seeing any open vents when you're exploring abandoned facilities means that monsters are around. Snare fleas seem to be the most common thing spawning from open vents, but other monsters have been seen by players spawning from vents. Hearing a thumping sound in the walls is a telltale sign that something is spawning, so let your buddy who's staying home know so they can warn you of nearby vents, and keep an eye on the ceiling as that's where snare fleas lurk. All monsters can jump the gaps between those broken walkways. All of them. Also, blobs can slide under ordinary doors, but they can't get through sealed doors, so use this to your advantage when you're legging it. Once you have enough credits to buy yourself a shovel, getting the high ground on monsters is an extra easy way to eliminate them with said shovel. Jump up onto the yellow stair rails, and once you've pulled a spider, thumper, or loot bug below you, you'll be able to hit them with a shovel from the railing, but they won't be able to hit you. This has allegedly been fixed in a patch, so take advantage of it if you can. Eyeless dogs are attracted solely to noise. Their hearing is so sensitive that they'll even be alerted to you dropping an item on the floor, whether that's outside on the ground or inside your ship. If you see them patrolling the ship, turn off your walkie-talkie, crouch, and don't even whisper. A good way to avoid eyeless dogs is to get up on the roof of your ship and drop down into the main doors before closing them to increase the distance between yourself and the aggressive fauna. Those of you who stayed home, buy the cheapest thing in the store to bring a delivery pod down and the sound of its music will draw the eyeless dogs away. 
Sandworms, technically known as Earth Leviathans, have a big tail before they attack. The ground will shake, which is your cue to drop your stuff and leg it as fast as you can, as you only have a few seconds to escape before being scooped up into their maw. Boom boxes are useful for drawing enemies away from your ship, whether they're eyeless dogs or not. As they only cost 60 credits, they're a pretty good investment, but by and large you will be leaving them behind on the moon. They'll be able to play music for about 6 minutes, and as a full day is 11 minutes, that means the person left at home will want to leave the ship to set up the boombox at around midday. Grabbing the angrily buzzing beehive is the absolute last thing you should do in every run, shutting the doors immediately once you're inside the ship and then lifting off. These nests are worth a pretty penny, so it's worth the risk, especially early on. This is what all of the weather statuses in Lethal Company mean, because they are not there to add some interest to the landscape. They are all associated with some very real risks. Rainy weather creates quicksand that will kill you if you wander into it. It looks like patches of dark mud on the ground and is easily confused with shadows, so beware. Stormy weather generates lightning, which will strike you when you're running to your ship if you're carrying loot made of metal. When you see sparks, drop the metal, leg it, wait for lightning to strike, then go grab it and continue legging it to the ship. Foggy means your view will be obscured when you're outside, especially dangerous at night when aggressive fauna spawns. Flooding is the second worst weather to have on a moon as it means the land will flood over the course of the workday, eventually making return to the ship almost impossible, so you want to get in and out as quickly as possible on flooded moons. And finally, Eclipsed is bad with a capital B. Eclipsed moons have all outside fauna spawning when you land, so just avoid them entirely or visit with the utmost caution. Giants like to eat employees. You know this. But did you know that if a cloud of blood appears when they're chomping down on your colleagues, said cloud of blood will damage anyone nearby? This ferric cloud causes you to lose stamina, and once your stamina is all gone, if you haven't vacated the cloud, you'll start to take damage. As if seeing someone getting eaten by a giant wasn't bad enough. When you're getting chased by a thumper, because in Lethal Company it's bound to happen at some point, turn down loads of corners. Due to their body type, it takes a while for thumpers to turn around, so use this to your advantage and do not flee in a straight line. These are two tips for you employees who stay at home. First, use the doors you've opened for your colleagues as waypoints when directing people out of a facility or, failing that, landmarks. There is a very slight delay in the walkie-talkie, so saying left and right to people who are panicking and might not be listening can be a recipe for disaster. Second, copy and paste works in Lethal Company, so you can copy the word switch and then paste it into the terminal to switch your tracking between players. It saves you a second or two which, when they're being chased by a monster or a bracken is waiting nearby, is a big help. This is an advanced teamwork tactic for those of you who are weathered employees. Two employees, a radar booster, and a shovel is a combination that can take down some fairly powerful fauna. This is how it works. Have one employee stay at home while the other takes the radar booster and the shovel to the risky area. Put down the radar booster, then, when a threat gets near, use the flash command to blind them, giving the employee with the shovel a chance to beat them to death while they're stunned. A good way to signal when the flash is needed is to spin around on the spot, which the employee staying home can see on the terminal. Speaking of teamwork, a useful code to learn is the word corner. 
This signals to the person on the other end of the walkie-talkie that they need to back into a corner, thus maximising their cone of vision to identify any nearby threats, especially critical if you think they're being followed by a bracken or coil head. Again, spinning around on the spot for employees on the ground can be a good way to indicate that you need teleporting out right now. And finally, for those of you staying home, you need to get familiar with what the different sized monster dots on the terminal mean real quick, so pay attention. A huge red dot outside is an Earth Leviathan. Webs in the facility, medium sized dot, fast movement and pausing on walls is a spider. Medium dot, waiting near colleagues and scary fast is a bracken, especially obvious if a colleague looks at it and it flees. Medium dot, teleporting and terrifying speed before stopping suddenly near colleagues is a coil head. Small dot and appears to be stalking the team or seeking them out is a jester. Medium dot in the middle of hallways is often a thumper, especially if colleagues hear the telltale thumping sound, and if it moves slowly around corners. Medium dot that ignores teammates and keeps going back to the same spot is likely a loot bug, Additionally, a medium dot in a room full of loot is almost guaranteed to be a loot bug, and a medium dot that's completely still is a snare flea. Finally, a medium dot that moves slowly is usually a blob. Those are 21 advanced tips for Lethal Company. If you have any that I, Zoe Delahunty like didn't mention in this video, do feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I'll give you full credit in any future tips videos I make for Lethal Company. I love Lethal Company so much, so if you want, you can go ahead and watch our streams of it on the Eurogamer channel. If not, thanks for watching this far, and don't forget to subscribe for more Lethal Company tips and goodness. Now I'm going to go and see how long I can solo a run for, so I'll see you good folks next time.